Uh, there are really no comparisons, I think, with Haddonfield. Um, it's such a tightly knit community and um, made lots of friends here. The Garden Club, uh, the Haddonfield Garden Club, back in 2002, uh, wanted to uh, put up a, a statue for, um, for the um, 150th anniversary uh, of the discovery. And um, they uh, held a, sort of a competition with a number of sculptors entering designs, and, uh, uh, and they, they chose mine. So it was... Uh, late 2001, early 2002. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, I had uh, seen some images uh, actually in the State Museum in Trenton. Uh, those images actually uh, were images that were not correct. Uh, because the head was never found, uh, there was always controversy as to what the dinosaur actually looked like. Uh, there were um, some significant challenges for doing a sculpture of this size uh, in bronze outdoors, and there are a number of safety issues involved. And uh, even though I've, I, I have made uh, sculptures much larger than this. This one was going to be in the middle of town and there would be um, uh, children going up to it and uh, I wanted to make sure that it was uh, was extremely well designed. I think for, for many years it had been almost forgotten and um, and I think uh, that there were a few uh, a few people who uh, uh, did some uh, research and uh, uh, were interested in in the, in the in the fact that the dinosaur was discovered here. Uh, one project was done as an Eagle Scout uh, uh, report. So uh, I think that revived interest. And once that was revived, I, I think it has helped help the town. I, I think that the uh, both the discovery has become more popularized, and the sculpture itself is is well known throughout the area and beyond. It's significant because of the um, uh, the process and the atmosphere that occurred right here in, in my barn when when I was making it. Um, there were school children who came to to look at it, and uh, and they were invited to put a dab of clay on on, on the sculpture. Uh, I received hundreds and hundreds of drawings and paintings thanking me. Uh, it became uh, it became a real town uh, project. We even had a, a, an evening here where uh, people were helping me just pack clay on on the uh, 16 foot armature. So it had special significance because it was going less than a half a mile away from where I live. It had a special significance because my son Delano was in what second or third grade, uh, and he was one of those who uh, you know, was here. Uh, even helped me, uh, you know, put some clay on on, on the sculpture. So he. Um, uh, he and his friends, and then later the town, you know, when, when the sculpture was unveiled, it was a fantastic ceremony where, you know, a couple of thousand people showing up. And uh, I've had similar situations. One was for a Rosie the Riveter sculpture that I did up in North Jersey, and one was for a Matthew Henson sculpture that I did at the Camden Maritime Museum. Uh, but there are only three or four or five sculptures of all that I've done that have had that kind of um, uh, participation with the entire community. I was working on the project. Uh, a couple of scientists, one from the Academy of Sciences in, in um, Philadelphia, and one from... Um, the Smithsonian came came to the studio here while I was doing the clay work, uh, 
And uh, what was really interesting about that was they had never seen anyone build a sculpture of, of the hadrosaurus that that large. And I had never had in my studio people who had that much knowledge of structure. And so while I was up there working on the ladder, uh, sculpting it, they were giving me actual instructions on what this should look like or what this might look like, and, and it became extremely uh, helpful to me. We, uh, th it's interesting that um, there are certain parts of the dinosaur in, the, uh, in town that are pretty much uh, full size. There are other portions of it that are that are smaller, probably about three quarter size. And I had to make some adjustments. Uh, I, I actually went to the academy uh, in Philadelphia and measured the uh, the bones that they had of the hadrosaurus, how long the femur was, how long how long uh, the upper torso bones were, and. Uh, and for some of them, I could actually uh, use pretty much the same size that they had. For other bones, I, I made them smaller because of the problems with several thousand pounds of bronze sitting up on top of just a couple of legs and a tail, and uh, the problems with uh, engineering and, and safety. Haddonfield is one of those towns where uh, uh, people who've graduated from high school who've lived there uh, as, as children and young adults uh, many times want to come back uh, and, and, and live uh, uh, later on in life because of, of the sense of community that, that exists here. And um, I, I think that's, that's kind of special. Uh, it's not something that you find everywhere. People usually, you know, want to get out of a place as quickly as possible. This seems to be a town where people want to return to it. And I think that's because of the sense of community, the, 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 the feeling of uh, uh, the sports teams, the other, the other activities that go on in town. Makes, makes it pretty special.